Für Jahre on top of the escarpment at the Kelso Conservation Area. Welcome to our escapades. Ursula is the navigator, my name is Dieter and I'm the wheelman. The town of Milton is only about 10 km in this direction. The 401 exit is even closer. We will be visiting the conservation Halton parks. They are about 30 minutes away from where we live and less than one hour west of Toronto. Some of the conservation Halton parks are on top of the Niagara Escarpment and offer an amazing view over Milton and Toronto in the far distance. Well, you need better weather than we have now, but it is still quite a view. The park has a second entrance with car parking, the summit entrance. This is the preferred entrance for mountain biking. The trails range from beginners to advanced. I'm riding these trails since 2002 and saw many enhancements and growing interest in mountain biking. We can see Milton from the escarpment, so let's have a closer look at the town. When I started with mountain biking in 2002, Milton had a population of 30,000. Today it has grown to over 130,000. It is one of the fastest growing towns in Canada. Driving along Main Street, we are known to take a break at the Apple Blossom Cafe, home to the best pies in my books. The apple pie, fruit pie and my favourite, the pumpkin pie. The town of Milton has a farmer's market on Saturday morning. The Main Street is closed and the tents with the produce are inviting. It is more than fruits and vegetables. We were here on May 20th when they opened the market for a season. We stopped at Culture's Mushroom, they are located in Oakville. We saw oyster mushrooms, but they were sold out on our way back. We bought honey from Pine Creek Honey to restock our reserve. We opened the last jar only a few days ago. After talking to Third Moon, we visited the brewery in Milton and got the Lone Tree beer. I don't know much about beer, but I do know when I like it. Too bad we don't brew our own coffee anymore. We switched to Nespresso a while ago. The growing season just started and fresh produce will show up soon. We already like the market and we will be back. Not just for the market, but the Wildflower Bakery. We are now fully charged with coffee and goodies and ready to go. From Milton we drove to Hilton Falls, then to Robert Edmondson Park, Mount Spurgeon Crawford Lake, Mount Nemo and back to Kelso. Time to drive to Hilton Falls, about 10 km from Milton. We visited a park in May and nature is awakening. The trail starts a little bit rough, but once we passed the roots and rocks, it was all packed gravel.
There was a sawmill here that was powered by the waterfall. Not much is left from the mill. On the way to Robert Edmondson Park. The word is that the park is usually not busy. The trail starts with a boardwalk and beautiful scenery. On our way to the Moundsburg Raptor Center, we passed the Flying Monkey Bike Shop and Coffee Bar. That's a good time to stop and have a coffee. They carry road bicycles, mountain bikes, cross bikes and track bikes for the nearby velodrome. The Moundsburg Raptors are permanent residents and cannot survive in the wild. Meet Takenia, a red-tailed hawk. She is unable to fly properly. Meet Pogo, a bald eagle. She has permanent damage to her wing. The next park is Crawford Lake and a visit to the Longhouse Village. Time to fly to the last park on our tour, Mount Nemo. Mount Nemo, Rattlesnake and Kelsop all have rock climbing routes.
and with these pictures from Kelso in fall, we finish our tour. That brings us to the end of the story. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and explore Canada with us. Thank you for watching and we'll see you out there.